Welcome to Work Life Cyber. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you learned something new today. Um, I'm going to talk to you about how to answer the question a day in a life. Interviewers usually will go like, what is a typical day like for you? And this is when they want to um, assess who are the things, whether you are the things you say you are on your resume. So this is a time to be natural as possible. There's no need to rattle steps and procedures. There's no need, if you've done RMF, there's no need to go, I do categorization and then assessment and then authorization and all those steps. I don't remember all of them. And then it ends with, then I go ahead and do continuous monitoring. Well, what are they? Is what this question is about. Be very simple and straight to the point. So I am going to talk to you about my typical day in a in a life and how I'm not going to do a video a day in a life video. I don't know how people do it, and I don't know how you go to work and then go to the grocery store, store drink coffee, so many coffees, walk your dog, and in a day, I get. Everywhere I've worked is so busy. You work seven to eight hours. Yes, yes. I sometimes don't take lunches. So I am not going to do a day in a life. Um, I, won't, I won't know what to put because I work all day. Anyway, I digress. But so when you ask, what is a typical day like? You can start by saying, well, typically my days are very busy not complaining or say something in the effect of I don't mind or something like that because it is a busy field and you want them to know you can work under pressure, you can work with um, a lot, you can prioritize and get things done. But anyway, my day is very busy, but I don't mind. Um, usually I go 15 minutes to 30 minutes early to just set the day. Yeah, and then I check my emails right after that. Now, my emails can go from anywhere from two to three hours, sometimes even the whole day, because in my emails, I get tickets. I get responses from vendors. I get um, notification from a task my boss has assigned to me. I get reviews, documentation to review. So depending on how urgent I get the task done as I check my email, or if it's not too urgent, and sometimes I can tell from the email that it's not urgent, I schedule, I put it on my schedule to get it done at a later, a later date. Once I'm done checking my emails, I do go into a GRC tool. And sometimes during the emails, I answer some of the questions in my in the GRC tools. What happens is I get notification from the GRC tool into my emails. That's why my emails take so long. Remember, relax as you speak, okay? Anyway, so once I check my emails, um, once I'm done checking my emails, I will go into the GRC tool to see which vendors have responded to my request. I will review the documentations that were attacked and I will send my feedbacks. Now, reviewing the documentation takes um, anywhere between three business days to 10 business days. If I have to go back and do follow-up questions, I go do the follow-up questions. If I have to go and request for artifacts for something they say they do, I go and ask for those artifacts. But, um, but at least I put them, I schedule them. So I go through all of these. I have a day that I request for various artifacts. I have a day that I request for documentation, sock reports, and Mind you, if you're in financial, you're not going to, you're going to talk about the frameworks that you're interviewing for, right? Okay. And my experience is um, SOC reports. Okay. And then I put in all these, um, I update the vendors that are complete. I update the vendors that are pending mitigation or pending review or pending um, assessment. I go through all of these and between this and numerous meetings, some that I have booked, I have scheduled, some that um, have been scheduled from by other people with me, between all these, 
there's just not enough time in a day. So the day will be done by the time I'm done checking my emails, updating our GRC tool, and meetings. And I do have occasional touch up, catch ups with my boss or the team members. So yeah, that's a typical day in a life in my life. Typically, most four out of the five days um, in a week is like this. Yeah, it's busy, and I do not mind. I do prioritize all my tasks, and sometimes if I cannot meet um, a deadline, I don't wait till the deadline happens. I keep the business owners um, updated as to what's going on and everything. So that's it. I hope I have answered your question. Right, guys, once you answer it like this, and of course, this is me. I'm just giving you how you should answer because some people tend to still rattle jargons and um, steps and things that these interviewers don't understand because they are quite natural. They haven't gone done RMF steps. They haven't done IT or the steps. They, uh, they, even though they went to school, they have like 15 years experience. They have forgotten these steps. They just do what they need to do and they go home. So as you're doing this, they're thinking to themselves, we don't know what this girl's talking about. Or maybe they do, maybe I'm wrong, but speak naturally, speak confidently. And if my day in the life is not the same as yours, because remember, if you work for a big company, I have worked for mid-sized companies. And so I do, I do send the reviews and I review the reviews and approve, you know, the system tells me how, whether it's low, medium and high, and then that determines how much of an attention I'm going to give to them, but that's about it. So if you have worked for a big company like Sears, Bank of America, and things like that, you cannot use my same day in a life because with a big company like Bank of America or all these big banks or, uh, or hospitals, maybe you're working for Beth Israel or whatever big um, company you use, you cannot say you do, you send out the requests and then you review all the documentation. No, no one person can do all these things. So unless you're telling them that you're, you, you get assigned maybe two vendors at a time, then maybe, yeah, you can, but most of these established companies, big companies, they usually have someone who's sending out the assessment and making sure all the documentations are attached. And then they have a whole team who reviews the assessment. And then they have even a third team that does peer review before they approve any, uh, they actually have an even fourth team that um, schedules meetings with business owners to discuss our recommendation. So know what kind of company you have worked for or you say you have worked for and know how to um, how to answer these questions because this is the time where they are going to determine whether you what you say you are what you say you are on your resume all right let me know if you have any questions um, I created two videos yesterday and they were garbage when I rewatched. So I don't know what to record. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any help that you need, and then I can create the videos. Thank you so much. Your feedback is very important to me. We are learning together. Bye.